Hello, hello, and welcome to Mighty High's World. This is episode 20, and the last episode, we killed the Wither and got ourselves a full beacon, which you can see behind me. And you can also see behind me that I have cleared out quite a large area, as you can see, and obviously it's affected my strip mine but I'm not too worried about that now because I need to find somewhere else I can find diamonds because I've pretty much wasted every diamond I've had around here so in today's episode you can just barely see what we're doing that hole over there to the right of me so let's have a look at it shall we so here we are as you can see we have our friendly slime over here and I've done a tiny bit of work here I've dug out this hole and as you can see this is a slime chunk I've literally just got killed by a creeper as I've got seven levels left and the only thing I've done at the moment is I've dug this out a bit I've put a floor down so that slimes can spawn and I've put a collection mechanism which is just a load of rails and obviously a hopper and also there's a timing system so if there's anything in that minecart with a hopper then it will run all the way down into this chest as you can see we've already got some slime and then it will deactivate act activate that rail again and then we can go from there but I'm going to destroy this one and the other one because we don't need it at the moment be cut and I'll show you how to build it because I actually made a mistake and I need more rails on this side as well believe it or not because some slime balls actually get stuck on this area here and in between the gap and there's no way that the minecart and hopper can actually pick them up unfortunately so that's a little design flaw but that's not too much of a problem to solve uh, but I'll solve that later so what are we going to do now then well let's get up there and I'll show you alright guys so we are up at level 39 which is the highest point slime will spawn I mean I think they say they will spawn up to 40 but just to make sure that slime do and can actually spawn on the top layer I've made up to 39 just in case and also it means we've got some room as well uh, I haven't done exact maths but we should be able to get at least five or six platforms for slime to spawn and I've also outlined what we're going to be digging as well so let's just put our chunk borders on which is F3 and G as you can see there's a as you can see I'm just throwing my axe but as you can see this is the whole slime chunk that border here and this area is for the killing mechanism so that the slime can actually just jump off this and go down there and I'll show you later how we are going to be killing the slime as you saw it is going to be with magma blocks but there's also something else that we're going to be using to kill them as well but first I need to basically dig all this down to level what is it 12 or something so let's get on with that and I will show you the progress we have done once I've done this so this is going to probably take about an hour or so although I don't know but I will get back to you once I've done so let's get on with it alright guys so progress update and I am now down to Y24 so it should only be about six or seven more rows that's three that's four five six seven seven or eight more rows and we will be to the bottom of this thing so not long now hopefully my pickaxe lasts so let's get on to the bottom shall we 
Alright guys, another progress update. We are pretty much to the bottom now. We've got about two, maybe three more partial layers to go. And it was a good thing this whole thing was pretty much caved. So it took less time than I expected apart from actually mining the blocks itself. But we're pretty much there now. But as you can see my pickaxe is pretty much dead but the good thing is that I actually have mending on my pickaxe I have mending on my sword I have mending on my diamond axe and also all my armor as well the reason for that is as you may have noticed this area in the beginning I did actually have a load of villagers in here, but unfortunately um, a zombie must have got in here and killed them all because they're not there anymore and you can see the minecarts there that the villagers were in. There were another three here, so a zombie must have got here in here and killed them all and my guess is it came from down there when I was digging it out and killed all my villagers and I did have a mending villager because um, that's how I managed to get mending on all my tools but unfortunately alas he has died so and this is where I bought them in from up there so I don't think he would have been able to track them from all the way up to the top so he must have spawned around here somewhere and killed all my villagers but unfortunately we have none left and we don't have our mending villager or any mending books so that's a bummer but this whole place is I'm just gonna rethink my villager situation now after this it, this whole thing is going uh, and I'm going to think of another way and area to put them in because that really did annoy me but let's get on with it. I am I'm going to go to the place we're going to mend our pickaxe. So let's get there. So we are here back at the skeleton farm. The only XP farm I actually have on this map at the moment. So it's pretty slow. But it gets the job done. And we are basically going to take off all our mending armor and hit these so we can pick mend our pickaxe so let's get on with this I'll mend my tools mainly my pickaxe and catch you once I've done that because it could take a while considering how slow this is alright guys so my pickaxe is finally mended after about 10-20 minutes or so and as you can see the farm is actually working because we have some slime how much do we have here then 9 14 14 slime balls that's pretty good considering uh, and I've just fallen in a hole but anyway we need to finish off completing this so let's throw myself up here with an ender pearl and apparently get stuck and we have some zombies up here still, but oh well, let's and where did that come from? I have a skeleton somewhere, probably down there now. Yep, there he is. Oh well, let's finish off doing this and I'll get back to you once I've actually finished the thing. So, see you in a minute. Alright guys, so we have finally finished this massive hole for our slime and I'm breaking blocks again what a surprise anyway so we have made our hole the next thing to do is to smooth out all these walls I think would be a good idea and for now I'm just going to use stone because we have a lot of it but I think the next episode we might think about decorating this place and as you can see they go into tunnels and all sorts I think most of it's lit up at least so that's not a big problem 
So let's get on with that and I shall come back to you once this is smooth, I guess. Shouldn't take too long, although because I've dug it out it just means pillaring up and getting on with it. So let's pillar up to the top of this thing like so and if I can do that I will but we basically need to cover up all these gaps so I'll get doing that and catch you once I've done this alright guys so I've now completed that and it's now time to build the platforms so as you can see there are still like little holes like that one or two blocks but all the cave holes have been covered and you can see my scaffolding is pretty extensive but I can get rid of that as and when I build the platforms so for the platforms we are going to need some stone so let's just and some half slabs so let's not let's make a few of them with the crafting table I will need a lot more than that we have our first layer here so the second layer is going to be two and a half blocks above this one in the exact same chunk the exact same layer so let's just do an outline so it will be like this the reason for this is that the big slime needs at least two and a half blocks to spawn and it also gives you more space using half slabs than it does using full blocks because you can actually build more platforms so that means that more slime will actually spawn so let's just build this perimeter quickly I've almost done it now so this is going to be our second layer up there and then another two and a half blocks up is there so that's where our third layer is going to go up and so on and so forth so it should be yeah i'm getting attacked by a witch now whoa go away get lost and that skewing to hurt uh, anyway as i was saying there should be about five or six spawning platforms good enough so we can actually spawn the slime and get decent oh I'm still poisoned how long is that gonna last 20 seconds more what there's no point in me eating then until I've actually got my health up there uh, until that dies god and every time I do eat it's just going to kill me isn't it yeah it's just taking off oh almost and it's off thank god now I just need to eat thank you so I will get doing some of these platforms and come back to you once I'm halfway through I guess alright guys so we are about halfway through this now and as you can see we have one layer then the second layer number three right number four number five and number six and I am on my seventh layer at the moment so more layers than what I thought we would originally have and it's not spawning many slime at the moment that is because I am pretty close to them but it will do and I have seen some slime spawn so at least I know this farm is working so let's have something to eat and carry on with the other layers and see how many layers we can actually get my guess is we can fit another two or three up there but I will show you the end result once I have finished it which is what I'm going to do in three two one and we're done and as you can see in that corner over there we have a few slime balls still 
sadly I haven't got a collection system yet so then just going to lay there and despawn but we have finally got the other few layers in place and I've just chosen to use torches to light this place up there seems to be a few other mobs that keep spawning around here but most of it will just be slime so let's see how many levels we have shall we we have our first layer there we have our second layer here we have our third layer here and then layer four layer five layer six layer seven eight nine ten see what i mean about the zombies just spawning randomly and i think that's layer eleven and if i wanted to i can also fit another layer up here because this if we just go up another three blocks or yeah it would be free and press f3 we are on 41 so we actually can't so good I uh, good thing I double checked that so we have actually maxed out this thing with 11 layers which is pretty cool and hopefully the spawns will be pretty decent as well once we actually got this thing flying so I know we are getting some spawn so let's dig ourselves back down again and the next thing we need to do is out without dying get rid of all these magma blocks for the time being and dig in one more layer here another thing is if I just bring up our borders uh, borders again I'm not entirely sure if sub chunks are a thing in this game as well because if they are I may I mean apparently it's because of spawning algorithms they spawn better from the bottom to the top but I'm not entirely sure on that so if you have any suggestions about the sub chunks whether I should bother or not then please put it down in the comments below I would be very happy to have a look and see what you think about it whether I should build it up to that sub chunk or not but it does mean we're losing out on one two or three layers so I may not do that so back to what we were going to do we need to extend this uh, out one more block here so without getting attacked by slimes that is so it's definitely spawning at least so let's grab them so we need to get some rails and finish off this it's all I've done is oh and others are dying that's good but all I've done is I've started from there we've looped around and looped around again and looped around some more uh, so that it just basically does another loop over there and then it will bounce back collecting all the slime balls I think that's what I'm going to do on the other side as well however another thing is whether I should add more minecarts or not my thing is saying no at the moment just because of resources however if it's not collecting as many as I thought think I will do and look how many slime balls we have just from that it's amazing we actually have a decent amount of slime now so anyway I'll get the stuff we need and meet you in a minute all right guys so I have got the rails we need so the only thing we need to do is get rid of that and that we need to fill that back in and kill these slime because they are getting annoying and at least we know this is working because they are actually dying and spawning so that's a good thing and let's just get rid of you I'm going to have to deal with some slime jumping on top of me for now but we just need to extend this 
out. I've got some redstone blocks, so we should have enough for what we need. But you go away, go away. Thank you. And we put some redstone blocks down there. You can use a torch or a lever if you want, just so that we can power the powered rails. And then we need another one there as well. And talking about redstone, there's a redstone block there and there. So let's grab you. Let's get rid of you. We need to change you into that and put you down there. So now when we put our minecart with a hopper down, we put it down there. It shoots all the way around, all the way around again. And then it, if it's got anything in, it would deposit it into this chest here got some junk in there at the moment but let's just test that quickly if we can get it grab it we put let's say let's just put a stack of that let's put you in there and wait until it goes around again like so shouldn't be long now and it will deposit all of its stuff into that chest and then once it has it will then go on its merry way again so let's simulate that all of that and there it goes and obviously the slime is stopping it but that's not a problem well it will be in a minute ah oh, go away this is just going to constantly happen now it's right so that's the physics of the minecart and hopper anyway so now we need to basically just fill this up with some stone with smooth stone I've I'm using a resource pack for this smooth stone at the moment but it will be available in 1.4 uh, yeah 1.14 even so that's good and then we just fill this up with the magma blocks like so and then one more layer magma blocks here let's fill them in too just in case we get something spawn in there very unlikely but I'd rather not test it and then we do the same on this side so I'll do that and be back with you in a minute once I've killed the slime again. Right, see you in a minute. Alright guys, so I have finished doing the rails. On that side I've already put the uh, magma blocks on. I just need to do it on this side. But look how many slimes there are down here. It's unbelievable. Like seriously. How much slime? But we've got almost a stack from killing all them. So yeah, all I need to do now is just basically put this and that back down here. So let's do that quickly. So let's put you down there. And we need to then get our minecart with a hopper down and put you down so you can collect now. As you can see on this side, it should be collecting. Yep, they're being collected. And the slime are all obviously after me. So that's that's pretty cool. We've got that sorted now. So the next thing is to actually get something where we can attract the slime with. And apparently the only good thing you can use, or the only thing from my testing you can use, is iron golems. Alright guys, we're back and my iron blocks was right in front of my face. What a dummy, we will need some iron for some shears. And let's get rid of you quickly because that almost, that did some damage actually. Right, that's how annoying they are. Go away, please. I do not want you. I want your balls or your slime. Whoa! Whoa! That's a creeper. 
Goodbye. That was close. As you can see, I actually flinched a bit and went back myself. You probably heard that on the micro microphone. So anyway, as I was saying, the iron blocks were right in front of my face. We need some shears, so let's make some of them. And we've got some pumpkins. So how we do this is we put our iron golem in here. Aha, here we go. We've got loads of spruce here, so let's make them into planks and then let's get ourselves. Uh, let's make some sticks as well. And then we get ourselves some spruce fences. So let's use these to block the golem in, shall we? Yes, indeed. I think that's a good idea. So we. I think we can go. Oh, oh, redstone. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Oh! Even better, diamonds! So there's one. Let's go under here because there's lava around here still. There's three. Four. Any more? Nope. Four diamond ore. Our first few diamonds we got building this and that's pretty good bonus if you ask me. So oh almost. So let's do that and then we bring him in there. So it's iron blocks, four iron blocks in that formation. And then you used to be able to just put a pumpkin on him, but now you have to shear it and then we get our... Ah, no, no, no. No. Oh, that was close. That's not what you want to do as well. You, sometimes they spawn funny. So then let's move you there. Let's close this gap. And hopefully he should be okay in there. And any slime that spawn on this layer and the second layer will be able to see him and will try and attack him so that is why we use iron golems and in fact see what I mean if I get away from him hopefully he there we go that's a good example he's just trying to attack the iron golem but he can't get anywhere close to it because yeah and then again and then they all die. So that's pretty much why we use iron golems. So now I need to basically do that on this side as well. And all the way up every other platform. Alright guys, just a quick update. I am now almost there. I've just got the top layer. Three more iron golems to do. We have enough with one block spare at least. And... You're wondering why all these pillars are here, it's because a creeper's killed me twice now. Luckily I've managed to get all my stuff at least, but it's just them annoying things and I can't even see where he's spawning from. But anyway, alright guys, so I have now completely finished putting all the iron golems up to the top, I think that's six in total on each side so that's 12 iron golems I've had to place and as you can see on this side ah, uh, that's a problem I'm going to have to sort out but now the only th real thing I need to sort out is the collection system so as you can see we only have a minecart and hopper here at the moment so we need to do a bit of redstone magic to get it working so I've now got a redstone repeater so what we need to do is we need to put a redstone repeater there taking the output from the hopper so it actually needs to be a block lower so hopefully there's lava down there or water surprise we can get rid of that though like so so Let's put a redstone repeater getting the output from that hopper there, as you can see. And that's obviously going into that chest. And then we need a block. Then we need a block there, like so. 
then behind here there's going to be more lava so let's be careful and block you off there we need a redstone torch which I do not have any so let's make oh I do cool so we need a redstone torch there then we break that block because we don't need it then we put a block on the redstone torch we put a repeater there as well and then we have another block oh repeater on default and then we put another block there and then that will power and if there's anything in there then it will collect it as it you seen there and it will then go all the way into that chest there this hopper does need to be connected to a chest I'm not entirely sure the reason why it does but it does so just bear that in mind that you take the output from this chest and not from the hopper itself but that's not really a big problem to get past hopefully I don't think I've got oh no we don't have it on bedrock at least so that's not going to be a problem to get the output from that block upwards but we shall I think I shall figure that one out in another episode because I believe I am actually out of time thank you very much for watching my name is Mighty High you've been watching Mighty High's World if you like this video please click the like button and subscribe for more videos like this thank you goodbye